Good day, everyone. Today's 10 Interesting Facts is on Charles Tucker III, or Trip, from Star Trek Enterprise. I really like this character on the show and his dynamic with the other crew members, so let's get into it. Number 1. Born in 2121, Charles Tucker III grew up in Panama City, Florida. He was born with a birthmark on the right side of his body. Tucker acquired the nickname Trip due to the fact that he was third, the triple, Tucker to be named Charles after his father and grandfather. Number 2. As a child, Tucker read The War of the Worlds with his mother. Growing up, he always wanted to be a starship captain, but his father thought he should be an engineer while his mother thought he should be an architect. At the age of seven, Tucker's mother bought him a copy of Emery Eckerson's Father of the Transporter, and he made her read it to him every night for a month. It was his childhood admiration for Emery Eckerson that made him finally decide that he wanted to be an engineer. As Tucker later recalled, he was extremely skilled at taking things apart, but not so good at putting them back together. Number 3 Tucker used to take his younger sister Elizabeth to a movie theater near their house. He later remembered that she would scream like a banshee if he didn't take her. Tucker once put a garden snake in his sister's dollhouse, and his family once had a large dog named Bedford. On several occasions, Tucker went camping trips with his friends. They would spend half the night looking up at the stars and wondering what Earth's sun would look like from a distant planet. Number 4 Tripp was self-taught, having learned engineering from working on boat engines. Tucker's first joined Starfleet in 2139, at which time he lived in Sausalito, a few blocks from the Vulcan compound. He subsequently recalled that he got into a lot of trouble at Starfleet Training Command. By 2143, Tucker was a member of Captain Jeffrey's engineering team with the rank of lieutenant. After the destruction of the Warp 2 prototype vessel NX Alpha in that year, Tucker met Commander Jonathan Archer. He later assisted Archer and A.J. Robinson in stealing a backup Warp 2 prototype vessel, the NX Beta, in an attempt to prove to Starfleet Command that the engine design was sound. Shortly thereafter, Tucker taught Archer how to scuba dive off the coast of Florida. Tucker did his survival training during two weeks in the Australian Outback in a group that included Archer. Additional Starfleet training simulations familiarized Tucker with mind-altering agents. In 2147, Tucker was on Titan as part of the Omega training mission together with Archer. A malfunction with Tucker's environmental suit occurred on Titan's surface, so Tucker desperately tried to take off his helmet but Archer saved his life by preventing him from doing so. Number 5 By 2151, Tucker held the rank of commander. Renowned as a gifted orbital engineer, he first served aboard the Starship Enterprise NX-01 as chief engineer. His quarters were on B-deck, in one of the starboard sections. Aboard the Starship was one of Tucker's self-appointed responsibilities was overseeing movie night. His favorite film was Frankenstein and its two sequels. Tucker had many likes and interests, ranging from personal to professional, especially in the engineering field. He often enjoyed studying alien engines, and even some certain human ones. Tucker's favorite dessert was pecan pie, and his favorite food was pan-fried catfish. Number 6 In the course of first contact with the Auxiliarians, Tucker boarded their ship to fix their engines. During his stay on their ship, he developed a relationship with Alin, an engineer. After the ship left, Tucker discovered he was pregnant. Although he had not knowingly had a sexual encounter, a game he and Alin played that enabled them to read each other's minds may have served as a medium to transfer genetic material. While Tucker was the first human male to become pregnant, as well as the first known human participant in an interspecies reproduction, Dr. Flox said the embryo was not technically Tucker's child, but that he was simply serving as host. When the ship was tracked down, the embryo was successfully transferred to another host. Number 7 
Tucker was devastated to learn that his sister Elizabeth was killed in the Zindi attack on Earth. Tucker became bitter after his sister's death and was full of hatred and revenge. His mental state led to many sleepless nights. Phlox tricked Tucker into taking Vulcan Nero pressure from DePaul, and this did help him sleep properly and also moved his relationship with DePaul to another level. Number 8 Tucker was badly injured, ending up in a coma due to the primary injector flare during an encounter with a polaric field. He was cloned using a mimic symbiote in an attempt to harvest brain tissue from the clone in order to save his life. The clone Sim attempted to escape Enterprise to save his own life, but decided against it at the last minute and allowed Phlox to transplant the tissue even though it meant his own death. Number 9 Tucker played a large role in the final battle with the Zindi. He destroyed one of the spheres that disrupted the energy field that the sphere builders, who were behind the Zindi attack, were using to help the Zindi. This gave time for Archer and the Makos to board the weapon, destroy it, and save Earth. On returning home to a hero's welcome, Tucker faced heartbreak when he traveled to Vulcan and witnessed to Paul's marriage to Koss. Number 10 Tucker continued serving as chief engineer aboard Enterprise until 2161, when the ship was scheduled to be decommissioned prior to the signing of the Federation Charter. En route to Earth to attend the founding ceremony of the alliance that would give birth to the United Federation of Planets, Enterprise made a detour to Rigel 10 to rescue Shran's daughter, Tala. Unfortunately, the victory ultimately came to the cost of Tucker's life. Shortly after Enterprise left Rigel 10, Tala's abductors somehow managed to board the ship. When the alien trespassers threatened Archer, Tucker th quickly thought up a plan to lure the aliens away from Archer. Despite orders from Archer to remain quiet, he insisted and persuaded one of the aliens to knock Archer out. With his captain safe and no longer in the way, Tucker lured the aliens away to a nearby plasma junction, which he claimed was a communication system which he would use to contact Shran in order to bring him to the aliens. With the intruders fooled, Tucker rigged the junction to explode, killing the alien trespassers. However, Tucker was also critically injured in the explosion, and he ultimately died, having sacrificed himself for his captain. I hope you liked today's video. What did you think of Trip? Would you have been his friend? Let me know in the comments. A huge shout out to Ron Davidov for becoming a member on our channel. If you'd like to be a member on the channel, hit the join button and choose a tire. That's it for this video. Take care and have a great day.